Okay, as we continue to look at transformations, the next one on the list is a vertical stretch and a vertical reflection. Now what a vertical stretch looks like, the equation looks like y equals a f of x. The only difference between it and the non-stretched version is this variable a right here. Now when you have a vertical stretch, a vertical stretch merely means that your whole function has been made either taller or shorter. So I look at this function right here, this is y equals uh, square root of x. If I add my a value, there it is, if a value equals 2, my function is twice as tall as it was as the original one. And if I look at, if a is a half, so 0 0.5, it's half as tall. You can see how that point a just moves up and down. So looking again at, at the functions, let's look at the equations. If I start the square root of uh, y equals the square root of x, I can stretch it vertically by putting, by putting a 2 in front. So what that means is it is stretched vertically. by a factor of 2. Essentially, my function got twice as tall. If I look at something like y equals 1 half of x, square root of x, this has been compressed vertically by a factor of a half. To put it in words, it means that my function is going to be half as tall. So if I want to look at those, uh, those stretches from its uh, points, I would if here's a, a set of points. Well, that's four points. I got the x value and my y value. Remember, these are all y values. Now, if my original function had a point at one comma two, two comma zero, three comma two, four comma four, what happens when I apply these transformations? Well, if I apply a transformation where a equals three this first one right here, 3f of x, what that means is my function gets three times as tall. Now my x value doesn't change, but my y value does. It's where that was 1, 2, now it's 1, comma, 2 times, negative 2 times 3 gives me negative 6. My y, so my x value hasn't changed. 2 times, now 3 times 0 is still going to be 0. That one doesn't change at all, but this one does. 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 3 comma 6, and on this one, x value doesn't change, but y value times by 3 ends up being 12. That's what it means to be 3 times as, as, as tall. All my y values got times by 3. Now the same thing happens if I look at this one, if I look at this compression. My factor is 1 half. All that really means is I take all of my y values and I times them by a half. So my x doesn't change, but my y value, half of negative 2 is negative 1. This one, now 0 doesn't change, so it stays put. Half of 2 is going to be 1. Oops, sorry, that should be 3 and 1. And this one, half, the x stays the same, but half of 4 is 2. That's how the change looks if you look at it from the point of view of points. Is it affects my y value? Now the next thing that A can also tell us is it'll tell us whether we have a vertical reflection. So if A is less than zero, then we're going to get a reflection about the y-axis. So if I have something like 
y equals negative f of x. That means our function has just been flipped down below the x-axis. Or I can have, combine it with an a value, minus 2 f of x, in this case a equals minus 2. So what it means is it's been reflected on the x-axis as well, it's twice the size because I have a, a vertical stretch as well. So you can combine a reflection and a stretch. Let's see what that looks like. So here we have, once again, our function of the square root of x. And now if I take my a down to negative 1, you notice where it is for 1? If I take a down to negative 1, let's get it right exactly there, you see how it's been reflected about the x-axis. That a variable has just moved down below. So just as high as it, it was up at 2 before, well now it's down at minus 2. And if that a ends up being a minus uh, 2 or anything bigger, and there's what it looks like there. So not only do we have a stretch, a reflection, where it's flipped below, but it's also flipped below and twice the size. You notice, remember before, that point, if I put on my grid, my point was at 4 comma 2. Well now, it's flipped below and it's twice as low. So now it's at 4 comma negative 4. So if I go back here to our equation with the points, if I just had a minus f of x, all that's going to happen is I'm going to take my y value times it by a negative 1. So I get the opposite sign. So this one, which before it was 1 and negative 2, 1 and 2. This one, which was 2 and 0, well, 0 times a negative is still going to be 0. 3 comma 2 now becomes... 3 comma negative 2, and 4 comma 4 becomes 4 comma negative 4. If I combine a stretch and a reflection, I end up taking that y value. It had been 1 and minus 2, times it by, and I times that by a negative 2. Minus 2 times minus 2 gives me positive 4. 2 and 0, well... 0 times minus 2 still gives me 0. 3 times, or sorry, 2 times minus 2 gives me minus 4. And 4 times minus 2, sorry, this should be 4 comma negative 8. 4 comma negative 8. Now I want you to notice something here. When we look at this, anything whose y value was 0, that set of points there, it never changed. A, a vertical stretch does not change anything that lies directly on the x-axis. If you look at our graph here, it's on the x-axis right here, on this point right here. And it doesn't matter what our e value is, that point is still there. Changes everything else, but that's because the y value of that is 0, and 0 times anything is still going to be 0. Now the last question you might have, and I've, had, I've been asked it before, if it's a vertical stretch, why does it reflect about the x-axis and not the y-axis? Well, I mean, if it's a vertical stretch, what's changing? Our y values are changing. And if our y values are changing and our x doesn't, that means it's going up and down. If it's changing by a negative 1, our y value becomes a negative 1. Let's look at it in pictures. Look at the x value of this a as we go, as I apply different uh, uh, vertical stretches and reflections. The x value stays the same. But the y value change or the y value is multiplied by something. So if the y value changes to a negative, it goes below the x-axis. If I was changing the x value, then it would rotate around 
the y-axis, but we're not changing the x-value on a vertical stretch.